Hey, Pikachu here, and I'm going to tell you about the five best traffic sources, right? These are clients or leads if you're looking for more business for your online network or MLM company, whatever you are promoting out there. So whatever product you're promoting or anything you're doing out there, you need fresh leads, right? You need constant people coming to your website or looking at your offer and you need sales, right? So I'm going to show you the five best traffic sources to focus on, right? that will get you the best results, but there's a proper order that you need to apply the strategy in to get the highest results. And I'm going to walk you right through it, all right? So let's jump right into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is break traffic down into two sections, free traffic and paid traffic, okay? This is free advertising and paid advertising methods that I'm going to show you, okay? So in the free side, right, here's what we wanna start with email list right another one is social media right and of course the third one is SEO alright so when it comes to email list right if you currently have some kind of email list of subscribers whether it's five people or five thousand people or even more on there that's free traffic right this is people that you can market to so you can send any new offer right to your email list as long as it's you know good a couple people say buy your product then you'll know how many clicks you got as opposed to how much sells, right? So your subscribers or your email list, right? It's free traffic that you can, you know, market any offer to, right? Social media. This means Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all those social media channels or platforms that you have a following on, right? You can introduce them to your new offer and this is called free traffic, right? Because you're getting them for free to go to your offer to look at it Maybe see even subscribe to your list and this way you're even building your list from your social media, you know, platforms and you can even get some sales this way as well. So this is free traffic, right? SEO, this one I love and I'm going to teach you a lot about SEO because I made a lot of money with SEO and there's two ways. There's videos and then there's say blog posts, right? So whether you have a website where you're posting blogs, people say search on Google, you know, and your blog post shows up that's SEO, right? This is search engine optimization, okay? Now, if people are on YouTube, for instance, and they stumble upon your video that you've uh, posted, then this is SEO. This is called free organic traffic, so it's uh, usually better quality because you're not tracking them down. They found you, right? They found your content, they went on it, they looked at it, they read it, or they saw the video, and they follow through, right? So this is a great way to actually preframe your people and this is free traffic and I'll be teaching a lot on this because I made a lot of money with SEO okay now let's go to pay traffic pay traffic here's option number four right is vendors and influencers okay and number five traffic source is self-generated traffic okay so here's how these break up so with the vendors and influencers this is like solo ads right basically what a solo ad is is so if you approach somebody who has an email list and you said you know what can you run my offer to your list and I'll pay you okay so that's called a solo ad right another one is channel influencers this means that these are influencers that have some kind of following or subscriber base right so you can approach somebody who has a big YouTube channel that's called an influencer right and you say hey I'll pay you if you do a video post for me right or you can have approach somebody who has an Instagram following and this one's really popular there's a lot of influencers on Instagram with big subscriber bases and you can pay them and they'll say post a picture with your offer for like two hours or 24 hours whatever your arrangement is right this is called approaching influencers and there's a lot of influencers out there with different channels there's influencers with Twitter channels there's influencers with YouTube channels there's influencers with Instagram or any social media platform that there is there's influencers that have big subscriber bases or followers that you can pay them and they'll run your ad to their followers, okay? And number three is vendor packages, okay? So vendors are people who have access to traffic, usually a lot of traffic, whether they have a big list or they're generating traffic or they connect you to different influencers and they're just the middleman, okay? So these are vendors who have access to traffic, okay? All right, so here's section number five, and that's self-generated. What does that mean? This means that traffic that you generate, like Google pay-per-click traffic, right? This means that you're running ads on Google, 
or you're running ads on YouTube, right? Like in, like those little paid video ads that come up before every video on YouTube, those are paid per click, right? Traffic, uh, you know, that means that you're paying Google every time somebody watches or clicks on your ad, makes sense? So that's why it's called paid per click. You pay for every time somebody clicks on your offer through Google, okay? And uh, then there's Facebook pay per click, right? Same thing. Anytime somebody sees your ad on Facebook and they click on it, Facebook is going to charge you for each click, okay? Um, another one is display ads. This is usually like banner ads, for instance, right? You can go to these big networks, create these creatives and put them out there. And when people, you know, go to some kind of website and they see your banner ad, they click on it, they go to your offer. And in this case, they usually charge for impressions, like for every time 1,000 people see that banner ad, whether they click on it or not, they'll usually give you like one price and so on. So these are the five top traffic sources or the five main ones, right, that you can take advantage of to make money, okay? So let's break them down. Here's how you would approach this. You always want to test them all and then scale, okay? Here's how you do this. First, this is what I recommend, okay? This is my process that worked great for me and um, you know, I hope you get some value from this. First, you want to set up a campaign. You know, a campaign means that you have an offer that you're promoting or selling, you have a capture page in front of it, so you have an email list linked to it, so when they opt in, they go on your list, so now you can market to them for free, and they go to the offer, right? And then you're tracking everything, so you know exactly what you, you know, you know exactly how much clicks uh, are, are clicking on your offer, how many of them are opting in, all that fun stuff, right? So you wanna set up this full campaign ready to go, okay? Then you need to know your numbers, okay? This means that you need to know how much sales you get for every, say, 100 clicks or for every 1,000 clicks. Make sense? That's knowing your numbers. This is knowing that, hey, an average against all other traffic sources, I'm getting about this much sales when I get this much clicks. Like, for instance, if you get one sale per 100 clicks, then you know, like, hey, for every 100 clicks, I get 30 leads and one of them become a sale. Okay, that's knowing your numbers. So you know that if you go out there and spend $100 for 100 clicks and you're only making $50, now you know you're overspending or you know that for every $100 you make $200. Make sense? So this is knowing your numbers, okay? Then you wanna test your offer against free traffic first. Why do I recommend this? Is because when you start a new offer or you have a new campaign, you don't know how it's going to you know, run or how it's going to produce for you, right? So the best way to do it is go against free traffic. Try the three traffic methods that I told you. Run it to your social media, email it to your list, maybe do some SEO. This way you can get some clicks, some leads, maybe even some sales, and you'll know your numbers before you go out there and spend money and pay traffic, okay? Then you can test small packages with paid traffic. This means that when you kind of know your numbers, right? Then you want to, like, say, approach a traffic vendor or a solo ad vendor for instance, say, hey, what's your smallest package? And they'll tell you our smallest package is, say, 250 clicks, which is usually the case. And you'll say, cool, let me test your small package against my offer. So I'll buy 250 clicks from you and see what my numbers are. And then I'll buy more from you if the numbers play out in my favor. Okay, make sense? And then you can scale. Why? Because you know your numbers. You know that, hey, for every $100 that I spend on clicks, I get $200 back. And when, when that's indeed the case, you know, and you know those numbers, then you can scale, which means you can go out there and buy as much paid traffic as you want, right? And you know for every dollar you're spending, you're getting a dollar back. Maybe not even up front, but maybe in the long run, like maybe in the first week while your prospect is going through your offers or your cross promotions or whatever the case is. Make sense? So that's the formula I like to follow and this keeps you protected so you don't blow money on things you don't know how they're going to do and it's just uh, it's just like a win-win, right? You can't lose with this formula. Cool? Cool, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, this walkthrough, right? Uh, those are the five uh, main things you really need to focus on as far as traffic goes, right? But when you follow uh, the same uh, structure that I laid out to you, right? When you follow the start with some free traffic, test everything out, make sure your offer is converting so you at least know your numbers, like what your opt-in rate is, how much sales you're getting for this amount of clicks, right? And then when you know these numbers, then you can go to paid traffic sources and test them out, right? Because if you're just starting to 
blow money and you know ad paid advertising without knowing your numbers you can lose a lot of money before you even get started right so that's why i really recommend following this process it really helped me because i started doing this exact same thing i started with free traffic once i tested my offers once i knew my numbers then i could go out there and buy uh approach these traffic vendors or influencers and ask them hey can you send me 500 clicks and they'll say sure my price is you know 500 dollars usually you know if you're paying like a dollar a click you're usually getting pretty pretty good quality traffic right so this way i already know roughly what i'm going to make before i spend my money right so that's kind of the main thing when you're doing business online so hey i hope you enjoyed this um please subscribe and give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it because in the next episodes i'm going to break these down in detail we're going to start going through these traffic sources i'll show you uh, my best uh ones that have been working for me right and I'll be sharing them while I'm getting the results and I'll be sharing my actual results, my income proof, all that fun stuff in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned. And below this video, there is a link that will uh, introduce you to my offer, the one I'm promoting that I'm getting the toppest results from and it's going to take care of your people too. Um, and uh, the, below that, there's, all, there's also a link there to subscribe to my newsletter so you can actually keep getting these episodes in the order as I'm putting them out so you don't miss anything, right? So you get the best traffic sources as you're coming in. Cool. With that being said, I will see you in the next episode. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Talk soon.